around that same time, she gets diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, cancer, right? And the day of her tryout, instead, was the very first day, same day, of her chemo treatments. That was a year and a half ago. The young lady has been pronounced clean, so the prayers continue. I told her last night, any parent will get this, I told her last night, honey, I'll trade places with you in a heartbeat, but I will not trade places with your parents. I, I don't know how they do it with their babies. So, Miss Yearwood is in this thing, and she goes, well, you didn't get to sing. How about you come back today and you sing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy, it is my honor to introduce you to one of your own. You talk about one of your strong, gorgeous people right here, Miss Danielle Eljoy. We talked last night, you said before this you had hair, really long hair. Let me say this as a dad and not a creeper. What you got going right now is gorgeous. This is so, are you nervous? Because I'm scared to death. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I asked her who some of her uh, female vocal heroes were. She mentioned Carrie Underwood, which you know, Carrie grew up like 10 minutes from where we were in Oklahoma, so I'm with you with that. All right, good. If I'm gonna pick my hero, then I'm gonna pick probably Randy Travis. Right? If you're thinking like I'm thinking, Carrie Underwood and Randy Travis. Then you, uh, you wanna kick off one of the greatest written songs ever in country music. We can try, we can try, let's try that. What's that? We can try that. Let's try that, you're gonna have to help me through it though, okay? All right. All right, let's go.
<laughs> it's funny, man. All of a sudden, I realize how stupid I am. I have to follow that now. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm sorry, man. This, they just did that. Well, anyway, 